everyone. All right, let's do something other than framing an electrical. I got myself a birthday present and we're gonna play with it. Let me show you what I got. You know what, let's pause there for a second. I need to give you guys some context. My wood shop has been growing organically since we moved in the house in 98. And here's a picture back when I was first starting to get some of my tools. Nearest I can guess, this is around 2005. And the reason I put this picture up is that in the very background, which I'm gonna scroll up to here, you can see a pegboard. The essential tool storage mechanism for pretty much everybody older than me. You got your assortment of wrenches and screwdrivers and other miscellaneous things, a small level. You know, the standard wood shop kind of stuff. Now we jump ahead to a 2023 and you can see by this terrible quality picture that that pegboard is loaded with stuff. It's sitting over the top of what was my workbench. And uh, you know, it's okay. But when you demolish your wood shop and you have to rebuild from scratch, you want to work on getting something that's better than what you had. And that's what the next part of this video is. So let's take a look. I got a Nito meter bag. Nice little guy for my birthday, right? Yeah. I also got a second Vito meter bag. But this one happened to be free. How is this free? Some of you already know. Because I bought this one. <laughs> now. I have the most expensive, essentially, tool bag you can buy, the highest quality. And I'm gonna stuff it to the gills with Harbor Freight wrenches and screwdrivers. Most expensive tool bag and the cheapest tools? That's because I'm a woodworker. I really just need a place to keep all my tools but I don't use a ton of screwdrivers and wrenches. I mean, even if I don't fit as much in here as I did on my pegboard, the plan is to simply keep this on my workbench and move it around my shop when I need some tools. This is just for the little stuff, but if anyone's ever had a pegboard, putting the little stuff on a pegboard is kind of a pain anyway. So, what is better? What will hold more, my grandfather's pegboard or my new Vito Propac? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, Pro Pack Attack XL. So let's uh, let's stuff it to the gills and see what we do here. Yeah, I think I can fit a few more tools. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think we did it. There ain't a pegboard in the world that's gonna manage all that in any way that's convenient. I say Vito wins, Grandpa loses. Sorry, Grandpa. Boy, I wanted to keep stuffing stuff in there. It's 
loaded. You want to see? See how much it weighs. 35 pounds. You wanna know why? No pipe wrenches. No mechanics wrenches. Yep. Alright. My new workshop. Sorry. My new tool chest right here. Let me show you what I'm gonna do with it. sense than pegboard where I'm constantly trying to put stuff up and it falls behind the workbench. You guys gotta see this. I just noticed something that I think is hilarious. I got a service record on my boiler. That's adorable. You wanna know why that's funny? Because I didn't know my guy put it on there. <laughs> it's like I'm official. He should take some money from me though. Oh, well, you can pay me whenever. All right, let's get back to this. So, all right. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and start playing with my tools now. That means two things. I can't use that. Show mom that happy face. Yeah, you happy dog. You having a good time? <laughs> yeah.